welcome to my channel, Brandy Plans. I'm gonna be doing my pre-plan and my happy planner um, custom planner um, for the week of September 21st to the 27th. This is my journaling planner. This week I'm gonna be using this kit by Scribble Prints Co. Um, Practical Magic. I love this movie, like love this movie. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly show you the kit again. Full boxes, headers, half boxes, flags, sidebar stuff, little things, or boxes that have little thing shape, deco, and some more half boxes, some more full boxes, half boxes, square boxes, you get all the boxes, <laughs> and bottom washi. I'm going to be pairing this with some rose colored day uh, tapes, some blanket planner, um, glitter headers, and some Simply Beautiful Rose Color Date Dots and Body Washi Overlays, maybe. Again, with all my plan with me, you never know what's gonna show up and what I decide to do, so stay tuned. So before tuned. I start, I'm just gonna show you last week's spread, which I think turned out amazing and I've already started marking in it. So we're just gonna pull the pages out and move my planner to the side, as always, and then grab my trusty whiteout my washi cutter, and a bunch of other stuff that I need at my desk. So the first thing I'm gonna do, as always, is white out my date dots. Um, I have a cold. So, because I have a cold, and I am a healthcare worker, my situation in my house is a little bit different. So if you're new to this channel, welcome. Thank you for being here. I am sorry my voice is going to be extremely raspy. So I think what I'm gonna do is put down the black glitter headers first and then put down my full boxes. These are from Blanket Planner. She's a Canadian shop. She has real glitter headers. They're amazing. Now don't get me wrong, I do love um, rose colored days glitter tapes um, I think they're amazing as well um, but blanket planner is definitely one of my favorite shops to buy glitter so you should definitely check her out on her website and she is sometimes in some sales so you just have to check her out and she does have PR people but again you would have to look because I'm not sure I did use a PR person um, the last time I ordered, but I did such a big order that I haven't ordered from her recently. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. Okay, let's see if we can find our date covers. Um, so my voice is going to sound a little raspy because I have a very sore throat and a bit of a cough and a runny nose. There's no date covers. Is there date covers? Date covers right here. I knew there'd be date covers. Okay. So, don't let me forget to put my date dots down. I wish you guys could scream through the camera at me because I definitely have trouble putting my date dots down. And I also have trouble, I don't know how some planners do it. Like, um, I was listening to Sassy Stephanie. I'm sure that's right. And she was uh, saying how um, Leslie from Run With Craft Scissors, who's also one of my favorites, me and um, Stephanie always have to turn, I have to turn my planner, like she turns her planner because I can't do it like this. Like, I just, I can't. I, well, maybe, look, okay, I can try. It's very awkward and very annoying and I'm not good at it. So I'm gonna turn, <laughs> I'm gonna turn it. So I hope you don't mind. <coughs> and I hope you don't mind that I have a bit of a cold. Um, my planner doesn't go out of my house, so I don't worry about it. So, of course, <coughs> be because, sorry, excuse me, I have all the symptoms of COVID, <laughs> basically. I can't go out of the house. Long story short, except for to go get my COVID test. So, that is super... Simply beautiful. Okay, so full boxes. I have to pick one. I have to pick one to be my theme box. 
So I think I'm gonna pick this one. And I wanna put the two girls together. Yeah, so I think we're gonna go with Susan's character, or Sandra Bullock's character. Then this pot. Anyway, so I got sick after my shift at work on Sunday morning. So I started to feel like the little bit of a sore throat. And then, which one did I decided this one? And then I woke up after my sleep or during my sleep, I should say, because I didn't sleep very well, to the sore throat, runny nose, stuffed head, blah, blah, blah. So what do you do? What do you do when you have that? So I'm going to explain to you what I did and how that works in Canada where I live because it works differently for everybody in different situations. So I um, called in sick and because I called in sick with COVID symptoms, I got directed to um, to my, see that is just beautiful. Sorry, I get very sidetracked by the stickers. I'm so sorry, I am, I am, I'm with this. Oh, I'm gonna use these next. These are red glitter headers from the blanket planner. Cause you can't have too much glitter in your spread. So then I have to fill out a form through my workplace for a self-assessment that basically says, yep, I have a sore throat, runny nose, cough, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Then I go to another site that books healthcare workers like myself um, to a different site to get our tests done. Um, because healthcare workers' tests are run at a separate facility than the average population to try to get our results back a little bit faster so that we can get back to work. And because if I test negative for COVID, which I suspect I will, but you never know, um, I can go back to work as soon as my symptoms resolve. Oh, that's so stunning. So stunning. Okay, so she does not do full box checklists. She has two here, tons of littles, some freestanding checklists, and 6,000 boxes. So I think what we're going to do is because this is kind of my planner that I do a whole bunch of mishmash in the middle. We're going to just mishmash it up with some headers in between and go from there. So I think what I want to do is put my bottom washi down first. So we're going to do that next. And again, I'm so sorry. I have to turn the page completely because I cannot manage to do this straight the other way and the other thing that's a little different is her stickers are glossy so I have a little bit more of a problem and I need to do some sticker surgery and because I can't just rip the stickers I might actually do it properly like I'm supposed to which is mark it and then cut it with my scissors like so although I probably don't cut very straight so <laughs> that's another problem. So anyway, I booked my test. Now my little fella, so my youngest child, Henry, is also got a runny nose and a cough. Oh my gosh, that actually worked out, team. Okay, I'm gonna put red glitter headers over at the top of that as well. Because I like to have the glitter throughout. And then I have to think about what kind of washi I might put up there. We'll think about that in a little bit. Oh, don't you do that. So I called HealthLink, 
which is like, um, it's like 911, but it's um, not for emergencies. It's just for health information and to ask, talk to a nurse, basically. So the reason I called, even though I am a nurse um, in emergency department, I called because I wanted to book my youngest son's appointment with my appointment to get his COVID test because for school he has to, because he's going to be out, he has to get a COVID test as well to be able to go back to school just to keep everybody safe, right? And because we're sick, we should stay home. So this is how the rules go. Um, if I, me and my youngest son are symptoms, we have symptoms, and my husband and my other two children did not have symptoms, then me and my son would stay home and get our COVID tests. As long as my husband and the other two children do not, they would be able to still go to work wearing a mask and so social distancing and all that jazz. However, because I'm a healthcare worker in a high risk job, which I don't mind, but <laughs> I'm a healthcare worker in a high risk job, um, my whole family is now on quarantine. So be it. Um, it's part of part of the gig. So now we're all at home, um, self quarantining. And when I was on this health link call, verifying that that was the case and how do we all get our tests and blah blah blah. So we booked everybody in for tests. So now my whole family's getting tested um, to make sure we don't have COVID. Wonderful, super. Hope we don't have it go from there so that is what is what new, that little is what's new at my house which was only a matter of time because we all get sick every now and again i want to use some of this really cool pattern washi from the kit oh i don't want to use that one though it's the exact same pattern Well, that's really cute. I have no rhyme or reason for what I'm currently doing. We're just winging this at the current moment. Because I like to mix things up a little. And then let's put... Round box. And then Oh, I like that. That's very nice. It's okay. You can come get water. Sorry, that's my daughter. She wants some water. It's totally fine. <laughs> she can come get water. So, yeah, so that's what's new with our lives. So it's been a bit of an adventure around here as of late, which makes everybody, we've had lots of conversations about how things are going to go. And I had to call the kids school and we have to make arrangements to go get their homework because we're going to be home for at least a week. Um, because by the time we all get our tests and get the results from our tests, it's going to be a little while. So we're going to all be kind of hanging around the house for a little bit. Oh, I don't want to put that there. I actually want to use, where's my flay? Oh, here we go. I want to use this checklist here. Yeah. So that is what's going on. So by the time we're going to get our COVID tests Tuesday, depending on, usually it can take 24 to 48 hours. It depends on the lab and how busy they are. And as you can imagine, Everybody is super busy lately, so it is gonna take a little bit longer 
um, but we hopefully will get our results sooner than later and we'll know a little bit more about, I don't want to put that color there, about what the game plan is going to be. But I imagine that me and the kids are going to be home for a little while and my husband. And the good news is, is that um, the teachers are all kind of prepared for this kind of stuff to happen um, more than not. So they've always had like kind of rules and stuff about what they would do if someone got sick and how they would have homework and stuff for them. So that's really good. And then my husband um, work is very computer orientated. So we shouldn't have any problem with him and uh, just using the computer so he can work from home. Sorry guys, for some reason I need to turn the page this way. Oh, I like this so far. This is being very haphazard guys. <laughs> in a very good way. I like to put things down in a kind of weird haphazard kind of way to make it all look. And then I just fill it in in the boxes for no particular rhyme or reason in a very good way, basically. I wanna use that three heart checklist next. I really like these glossy stickers. I don't often get my kits in glossy, so it's kind of unusual to use glossy stickers, but I like the smoothness of them. So hopefully we're all going to be okay, which I'm sure we will. It just feels like a head cold to me. And again, some people, COVID feels like a head cold to them, but most people, they get kind of a raspy kind of feeling, although I definitely sound raspy, but they, in their lungs, they get way more short of breath than I feel. I feel more like head stuffy. So let's hope for the best. Um, symptoms are different for everybody. So until I have the test results, I'm not going to worry too much because... I don't really get that worried about things like this because I kind of see it all the time. Um, so yeah, so that's what's going on with my little family. So all my videos this week are gonna sound very raspy. Sorry about that. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me. I'm gonna be, have lots of like little, little jaunts of things that I'm doing. Because all these are like a little, little pieces. I just want to find some more washi here. Put down here. And then let's put a half box here. And then I kind of want to use appointment label. And I just wanted to see if there is, I'm sure there's a weekend banner, but I want to find it. Here it is. So I'm just going to put the weekend banner at the top like that. Super pretty. I want to use these squared boxes. I really like them. Just want to make sure you're in frame. Because I don't think it's something that I would use in my regular plan with me's. Okay, and then let's use some more washi. Green, I think, here. 
And then I really like this pink. So I'm gonna use the pink above this box. And then where's all my boxes? And then I had another fancy label. that there there's a semi kind of rhyme and reason to my pattern but not a huge one it's more of a kind of just fill in the spots with what you think is pretty and then go from there that, that header is like crooked Yeah, I love that. Okay, that's really pretty. Let's use this. I feel like I've used all my green on the other side. I need to find more green here. Uh, I need a small. Littles, where's my Littles page? Littles. Here we go. Put this one at the bottom. I want to save that one. And let's put. I kind of want another green one. I don't have a green one. I have a pink one. Okay, but we're going to use this green. Like that. Oh, that's cute. Okay. That is kind of the base of the plan. Oh, I do like it. Okay. So next what we're gonna do is my sidebar. So, yeah. So we're gonna do, oh, she does have a dinner, it's awesome. Okay, so let's find, where's my full box that I was keeping? So we're gonna keep the September. So I have to find, so the fourth one. And then in this planner, because this, I have to white out the side because it's just a little bit too wide for the Erin Condren stickers. So just white that out to the bottom. And then I figured this is out on the fourth line like that. Amazing. And then let's use my red and my black glitter headers again to bring some sparkle to my spread. And then I have to find my dinners because I like to mark what we have to eat at supper. I'm not sure, do you guys say dinner or supper? I grew up with lunch and then supper which I'm not sure, I think I might be the only person that has grown up that way. Cause most people it's usually like dinner, supper, or they grow up lunch, dinner, I think. I could be totally wrong, but I think that's usually how it goes. Um, but that was not how I grew up at all. Um, it was always lunch, supper, which I don't think is everybody's experience okay i'm gonna put this little half box for my weight which i always do i'm gonna do another glitter header and then we're gonna put some habit trackers down so my habit trackers are here i got two habit trackers which is good so this is gonna be for my morning and my night routine, which I'm trying to stay on top of. So I'm gonna put these two down and then we're gonna see how much room we have. So I could use some deco, but I actually wanna save my deco cause I wanna save it cause I love this kit so much for another plan with me. So what I am gonna do is I'm going to put uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to put another glitter header down to round it out. 
And then I am going to put another box. Pattern washi, I'm gonna put some pattern washi down. No, I'm not. I am not putting pattern washi down. I am gonna put a box. And then a final piece of glitter. And we're gonna call sidebar done. Yep, love it. Love it. And then I'm gonna use all of the icons to mark everything that I do, plus add an extras. So I will show you what that looks like after the fact. I just have to figure out what I'm gonna put at the top here. I'll come back to that. I have to figure it out. But in the meantime, I'm gonna lay down my, see, I might just put the overlays. I might just do that. So I'm gonna put down, these are rose gold overlays from Simply Beautiful Plans. And I thought that they would look amazing over this bottom washi in there with a bunch of leaves. And they do, I am not disappointed, not even a little bit. Yeah, that looks really nice. Fall is one of my, oh, do you guys see that? I ripped up part of the sticker when I pulled up that overlay. That was disastrous. I may not get over that. Let's look, see, now you can see it a bit. Not too bad. This was a trick that I learned from Avalon in ninth by watching her channel. And I think it does actually work. Part of me wants to put this over here. And just to run that across. I think I kind of like that. All right, so we are gonna put these on some of these. So I know that the larger ones aren't gonna be able to take this overlay, but the smaller ones will. So I'm gonna put it on most of the smaller ones because I did use almost all of the washi. And it's like a brown overlay, brownie red. And I'm gonna use it on the full boxes because I thought this kit, I love the colors and I thought that it needed almost like a darker color but yet it's so light, like some of the colors are really light. I'm so sorry, my um, camera died. So I broke off halfway through, but I did finish. I put the little leave um, overlays over my um, washi strips. <coughs> sorry, excuse me. And then the leave full box overlays over my full boxes. <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. And then I'm going to finish the top off with my glitter headers and I'm going to be done for this spread. So I hope you guys have a good day. Please like and subscribe down below and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!